Just in case you're wondering who's really in charge, more than 100 corporate chieftains held a meeting the other day to discuss how to pressure states to allow more voter fraud by not requiring ID when people vote. Working, Britt Hume is our senior political analyst here on Fox. He joins us to discuss. But this is a little odd. Have you ever seen anything like this in all the years of covering politics <clears throat> where businesses openly weigh in on something that's not directly related to their core business and demand that it gets done? No, I have not seen anything that I could compare to this. And I would say that it's, it's something new. No, normally, I think corporate corporations involve themselves in, in politics when there's a measure directly affecting right. them, as you suggest. Yes. Or when they want to support candidates with donations that they think will leave them alone or help them or whatever it is that they want They're kind in of politics. stealthy about it, though. Well, the time. yeah, but it's, and I think it's, in a, and as they look at it, I'm sure it's, they think it's self-defense. They don't want to get regulated. Right. They don't want to get right. taxed. They don't want to get, have a bill that goes against them, favors their competitor or whatever. Uh, this is something a little different, but I think it's maybe self-defense in a different way. I think, I think right now a lot of American corporate leaders are terrified of the American left. And now that the Biden administration is in and they see the drift that it, and, and the direction it's taking, which is basically to, to try to enact the left's you know, main points of the left's agenda, they want to try to get in good with them. So on this issue, um, thinking that they're going to get protested by Black Lives Matter and who knows who else, and under pressure from the Democratic Party, um, particularly in the person of Mark Elias, that's that uh, lawyer who's been so active in electoral matters for them and was a, was a factor in the whole Russia collusion sc uh, scam uh, story, uh, then I, I, and I think they're, they're all afraid of him and afraid of, the, and, af and afraid of the American left. So they're doing what they're doing, and I think they think they're protecting themselves. I don't think they anticipated that the backlash against this would be so great, though. Maybe they should be a little more afraid of normal people. It just seems like a little bit disproportionate. Here you have all three branches, the two elected branches of government controlled by one party, right. and the entire American business community on the same side. There's no balance. No, I agree with that. And, but the worst thing about this, it seems to me, is that they're basically aligning themselves with a lie. The lie being yes. that laws like the one in Georgia, there are others, are akin to Jim Crow, that they're designed to suppress the vote. Now, look, there are things in the Georgia law that might make it in some ways you know, mildly more difficult to vote, but there are lots of things in the Georgia law that will make it easier to vote. No, it's right. So they're lying about it. They're lying. Brett Hume, thank you. You bet.